Astronomers just found little red dots, rare, compact galaxies once thought to exist only in the early universe, surprisingly close to us, just 2.5 billion light years away. This challenges old theories about galaxy formation and could reshape our understanding of how galaxies evolve. Watch this video to learn more about this topic. Little red dots, or LRDs, first appeared in deep field observations made by JWST. These galaxies are small, just a few hundred light years across, and appear red, a characteristic that likely stems from either dust obscuration or their unique internal activity. Their compact structure and emission profiles have long suggested either rapid star formation or the presence of active galactic nuclei, possibly involving growing supermassive black holes. Because JWST observed them at very high redshifts, meaning their light has taken over 13 billion years to reach us, they were believed to represent a brief early phase in galaxy evolution, tied closely to the chaotic conditions of the early universe. That assumption came into question when a recent study, published in July 2025, identified three galaxies with strikingly similar properties, but located far closer to us. These local LRDs, spotted using data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and DESI Legacy Imaging Survey, were originally flagged as potential quasars due to their unusual ultraviolet optical spectra. However, further analysis showed they lacked the strong variability and other typical signatures of quasars. Instead, these galaxies mirrored the LRD profile, extremely compact size, red optical color, broad hydrogen and helium emission lines, and a steeply declining infrared signature. Their structure and energy distribution aligned closely with what JWST saw in its early universe counterparts. This suggests that either can persist for billions of years without significant transformation, or that the conditions needed to form them can still arise today. In both cases, it undermines the idea that these objects are tied exclusively to the first billion years after the Big Bang. This discovery reshapes the conversation about galactic evolution in several ways. Most immediately, it challenges the assumption that early universe galaxies represent entirely different evolutionary phases from those we see nearby. Suppose galaxies with the same structural and spectral properties can exist in the modern universe. In that case, the mechanisms that create them may be more universal and less time-bound than previously thought. One of the dominant hypotheses is that LRDs host obscured supermassive black holes, black holes that are actively accreting gas, but hidden beneath dense layers of dust and gas. This would account for the broad emission lines and compact morphology, which are characteristic of AGN activity. Another possibility is that they are ultra-compact starburst galaxies, where intense, short-lived bursts of star formation produce similar energy distributions and spectral lines. What makes the local discovery so valuable is the ability to study these galaxies in much greater detail. While JWST has given us incredible access to the early universe, observing objects over 13 billion light years away comes with limitations. Local analogs allow astronomers to use a broader range of instruments, X-ray, radio, optical, and infrared, to explore what's happening inside these galaxies. And this is more than just academic curiosity. Understanding LRDs has implications for our broader models of how galaxies grow, how supermassive black holes form and evolve, and how star formation behaves in dense, compact systems. There's also the potential that these aren't a specific class of galaxies at all, but rather a transitional phase, a brief period in a galaxy's life triggered by an event like a gas inflow or merger. If true, these events might not be relics of ancient cosmic history, but rather part of a recurring dynamic seen throughout the universe's life. Now that similar galaxies are within observational reach, scientists are beginning a more targeted investigation to figure out what these galaxies are and why they exist in both the early and modern universe. A priority is checking for hidden black hole activity. While none of the three newly identified show strong X-ray emissions yet, that may be due to the limitations of existing data. 
deeper follow-ups using Chandra and XMM, Newton telescopes, could reveal whether there's an active nucleus buried beneath the dust and gas. In parallel, radio observations using telescopes like the Very Large Array, or the upcoming Square Kilometer Array, SKA, can help detect emissions from possible jets or compact star-forming regions. These signals are often less affected by dust, making them ideal for peering into obscured galactic cores. Multi-band spectroscopic surveys are also being planned. These would span from ultraviolet to infrared, mapping out the full energy output of these galaxies. Through this data, astronomers can assess the rate of star formation, measure gas and dust content, and estimate the mass of any central black hole, if one exists. What's also emerging is a new research direction focused on building a larger sample of local LRDs. Identifying more examples will allow for statistical analysis. How often these galaxies occur, what environments they prefer, how long they last, and whether they transition into or from other known types of galaxies. This multi-pronged approach, combining imaging, spectroscopy, and time domain monitoring, will help clarify whether these are starburst-driven, black hole-driven, or something entirely different. More importantly, it could answer whether their presence in the local universe reflects survival from the ancient past or repeated emergence under special conditions. Little red dot galaxies just turned up in our cosmic backyard, and they're rewriting what we thought we knew about galaxy evolution. Are they ancient relics? or still forming today. With new observations ahead, we're closer than ever to finding out. Stay tuned, the universe might be hiding more surprises than we imagine.